Well, decreasing interest rates may be on the horizon. I'm Chad Gelser with the Gelser Home Team, and this is your current real estate update for the Puget Sound region. Let's take a look at what happened back in March. Uh, it's around uh, what, mid of mid April right now. So we're looking at the data that, that occurred in March. And so I have four takeaways for you as usual. One is this, is that interest rates are holding steady and there's no clear timeline for big reductions. Now, interest rates have decreased by about 0.15% last month, puts us around 6.79% uh, average. Now it's encouraging, but it's not enough to really get buyers off the fence. So they can't, the affordability is still tough. And it's difficult to get sellers, those with already low interest rate mortgages, to sell their home to jump into a new mortgage. That's actually having an impact on the second point I'm going to make, which is there's still not enough inventory for home buyers. So it would actually take less than two months to sell through the entire Northwest MLS active homes. And actually in the top four biggest counties in, um, in the region, uh, you have Snohomish, Pierce, King, and uh, let's do Kitsap. Uh, we're on a range of 0.8 months for King County all the way to 1.4 months for Kitsap County. So the four pop, most populous or desirable uh, counties, uh, just not enough inventory. It's gonna, you know. And then the third point would be that prices do continue to rise. Now, I'm not sure what you hear in the national news. Actually, I'm super sure what, I, what you hear in the national news. But it's national. And they're meant to get um, uh, create uh, reaction. And you'll hear, rates are going to drop. Uh, prices are going to drop. All these things are going to happen. Well, it's not quite true. So when there's, when there's not enough supply, the demand is very high, prices are going to continue to rise. And that's what's happened in the Puget Sound region here. So if you're waiting for prices to drop before you enter the market, think again, because with limited inventory, you are going to have a challenge. So in the region, the prices have actually increased 7.5% uh, for single-family homes. And get this, for condos, the increase year-over-year year has been 5%. So in this region, prices are still uh, growing, and the reason is not enough homes. And the last thing I'm going to tell you, and this is actually a pretty big point, and I probably should have led with this, which is uh, timing the market may be impossible, and I don't think it may be. I think it's impossible. So with interest rates holding steady, inventory levels remain low, and prices continue to rise, although slower than last year, of course. Buying or selling should not be a speculation, right? You should not speculate. It should be based on your overall real estate goals. Okay, so if you're considering buying, selling, or investing in real estate in this ever-changing market, it's even more important you have a trusted real estate advisor on your side. So let us, the Gelser Home Team, know how we can help you achieve your wants, needs, and dreams in real estate. Cheers. Cheers.